Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have all of my empties for the month of April. So let's get into my trash here and I'll show you what I've used, whether I liked it or not, if I'm going to repurchase. Anyway, let's get started. So I have some um, cotton rounds from the Up and Up brand, which is from Target. And I actually found these at Walls. And I was trying to, I'm trying to look for a exfoliating cotton round to replace the Ulta brand that I used to really, really love. And they've changed the formula of those or how they're made and they are crap now. They fall apart. So I found these and tried these. These were okay. They they almost are almost just like the ones from Ulta where they're really not that great. So if you have a brand of cotton rounds that are the exfoliating ones that you really like, let me know in the comments that I should look for and try. Those were okay, but I just don't think I want to purchase them again. I think I found like maybe two or three packs at Walls and bought them all. So I'll use those up, but I don't think I would repurchase. Then I have my makeup remover wipes. I talk about those all the time. Definitely would repurchase. Some hair vitamins. These are the Sugar Bear Hair Hair Vitamins. They're little gummies and um, eat two of these a day. I swear by them. I think they have really helped my hair um, gain some of its health back that I had lost um, a few years ago from using some products. And um, that's a continued struggle with trying to get my hair back to where it was before I had used those products. But anyway, um, some cotton squares. These are the cotton clouds and um, these are comparable to the Shiseido. Um, they are cheaper to purchase, but in the long run, I think the Shiseido, they end up being about the same cost for them because um, you're only getting 200 individual pads in here and you're supposed to cut them in half or tear them apart to make more. Um, no, it, I'm, I'm wrong with that. It may be separated into 200 individual pads. There's actually only 100 in here. Anyway, I have a whole video on this, and I'll put a card up here if you are interested in seeing the um, comparison and the, um, the price breakdown between those and the Shiseido. Then I have some Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath. This is the avocado oil. I do like this. Would definitely repurchase. I also have it in the mineral soak from Dr. Teal's. And then I have this big bag of Epsom salt that we purchased at um, Walmart for a bath soak. And then I have some here that I purchased at Big Lots. I did not care for these because they have... Um, bigger sized crystals and those crystals don't dissolve very well in the water and so then when you drain out your water from the tub they kind of leave a residue in the tub a white residue so i i will not be repurchasing these and i was really kind of bummed out because i thought i had found a really good alternative to the dr teals that was cheaper i was trying to see how much these were i don't remember i think they were like three dollars two dollars and fifty cents three dollars something like that and but I like the Dr. Teal's better and then I finished up a shower gel bath gel and this is from the brand Jason and it's the invigorating rose water body wash and I really like this um, brand you can out find this at um TJ Maxx. I've been seeing it at TJ Maxx, so possibly Marshall's, but if you can't find it there, I ordered mine off of Vitacost. But I like it because I have a problem. I have issues with bath wash, shower gels that if they have a lot of perfumes in them, they irritate my arms and make my arms itch. It's almost like I have eczema, but I, but not 
it's not like I have a rash on my arms. It's just whenever I use something like that, it just makes my arms itch where I just want to claw my skin off, but there's nothing visible there to see. But anyway, this doesn't irritate me. So I like this and I like the, the rose water scented one the best. I have several different ones. I'm using a lavender one right now. It's okay, not my favorite, but. Then I have this from Miss Jessie. Miss Jessie's um, Sequoia Custard is to help when you have um, curly hair to um, use it in your hair as a styling product to help do the little ringlets or the curl or the coils. I didn't really care for this. Um, I just left my curls too crunchy and I don't like that at all. I like for my curls to be a little bit soft, but yet formed, and um, so I won't repurchase that. That took me a very long time to use that too. Now this one I do like, and this is from Pantene, and it's the um, Curl Defining Muse. The only, no wait, no, 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 no. Scratch that, this is one, it was okay. There's a different one that I like from Pantene, that's the Curl Whip. This one you can find at Walmart, Walgreens, wherever because it's it's readily available it was okay but i like the curl whip better and the curl whip is the one that you have to order either on ebay or amazon because they don't make it anymore or sell it in the stores anymore then i did finish up a um essence this is from Mizon. it's the water volume um, first essence and i would use this like a toner it was okay. I'm not going to repurchase this one because there's some other essence or slash toners that I like better than this one, but it was okay. And I think I ordered that off of um, Peach and Lovely, I'm pretty sure. And I have a little travel size of a moisturizer. This was sent to me through um, Influencer and it's from Clarins. It's the extra firming. Um, recall control firming day cream with a SPF of 15. It was okay, not my favorite. Don't, I didn't like it enough to want to go out and purchase the full size of that. Here, this, I finished up a sunscreen. Okay guys, this is the first time ever in my entire life, I'm 49, soon to be 50, that I've ever, ever used up an entire bottle of sunscreen. Ever. But anyway, this is from Misha. It's the all around safe block um, essence sun milk in 50 SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. I really, really do like this. I'm using one from Shiseido right now, but when I use that one up, I think I'm going to go back to this one because I really liked this one because not only was it a sunblock, but it's also like a skincare product and it was more like a an essence. It went on clear. There was no white cast to it. And I just really liked this one. So um, after the Shiseido one, I'm probably going to go back to that. Then I have a couple little razor heads that I finished from um, my razor subscription service from um, Billy. And those, I don't really care for those for the fact that they have around them a strip that has the aloe in it that's supposed to moisturize your legs and, and act as a shaving um, gel type product. I don't like that because after you use it for a couple times, it starts getting kind of gummy and gooey. I don't like that. So I don't know. Then I finished up a um, brush head off of my Clarisonic. Um, would I repurchase this one? No. I like the ones that's the Cashmere Luxe one. It's got the longer bristles on it and I just like that one so much better than any of these other ones that I've been using. But I have quite a few backups that I bought during a sale at some point. But as soon as all of those are gone, I'm just going to get those little, um, the Lux one, the Cashmere Lux. Um, a deluxe size sample of the Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner. This was in a kit from like three Christmases ago, I think. And it has just dried up. I tried to revive it. I mean, it's still there. It's a really pretty navy blue, but whenever I try to use it on my eyes, it just pulls and tugs. So I'm going to let that go. Let it go. Then I have from Prim. This was the um, in shower mask. Um, yeah, in shower mask. Uh, it was okay. It was almost like a honey type mask, but um, 
I would rather, it smelled good, I would rather use in the shower my Kate Somerville Exfolicate than something like this. So, and this was just a deluxe size sample, so. Also another deluxe size sample is a product from Chanel. This is the Hydra Beauty in the cream. It has a moisturizer. It was nice, but I'm just don't feel like the price justifies the product or the product justifies the price. Um, just because it says Chanel on it, um, they probably added probably $20, $30 to the price and it's not worth that to me. I have a mascara that I finished, a little deluxe size sample. This one was from Stila. Um, I don't even know what it was called, but it was okay. Not my favorite. Um, used it for quite some time. But I'm not going to go out and purchase it. Then I have a product from Kate Somerville. This is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior, the two in one plump. Being moisturizer plus serum. It was okay, um, but there's just so many um, K Beauty products that I'm using that I like so much better than this. So I won't purchase the full size of that at all. Uh, speaking of K Beauty, this was a deluxe size sample of the Fix and Fix primer called Tone Up, and it's in the color lavender. And this is from Etude House. I really did like this. I liked it so much that I ordered the full size of this. And it's just a really, really pretty lavender um, correcting cream that you can use all over the face or you can just put it in spots that you need it. But I really do like that a lot. Here's another product that I really do like, but the, prod the price is just so astronomical it's just ridiculous but it's the sk2 um, facial treatment essence it's like i said in another video if this wasn't the price that it was i would have a bottle of this in my skincare regime but i'm just not spending you know 200 dollars for a bottle of essence i'm just not but it is nice and it does work very nicely then i have from laneige the sleeping pack this was just a deluxe size sample i did like it but not enough to want to go out and purchase it one of my favorite overnight sleeping packs is from too cool for school this one is the pumpkin enzyme overnight sleeping pack that is so good highly recommend that one then i have a little sample pack this was a um face wash. It's the E Nature Marshmallow Cleansing Foam. And this was really nice for being a foam. First of all, this little pack right here, I probably used it for like two weeks because it just took the smallest amount of product and it did not dry my skin out. You know, sometimes you get a one that foams and it's a little bit drying. This was not. So I really did like that. I don't need any face washes right now. I have so many that I need to use before I purchase anything. Then another little full packet of the Too Faced um, Hangover RX Primer. This is a really nice primer. I really do like this. I had this once before and I used it. Then I went on to other primers and then this little packet just reminded me of how much I really did like it. So I'm going to put that on a um, wish list, my Ulta wish list. Maybe get it at a, another time. Right now I need to finish up some primers first. And then I have this little packet from Skin. This was the Skin Iceland, um, what was this? Oh, it was the eye cream. It was okay. It wasn't that great. Then I have a little um, travel thingy of the more Pacific um, enzyme peel that I used. And if you are familiar with last year's Project Pan, I had my big size of the enzyme from a more Pacific in that was using, I'm still using that. I swear that that stuff regenerates itself at night because that bottle is the never ending bottle of enzyme peel. <laughs> and I use it like two to three times a week. And I, I swear, I think that the bottle is almost empty. Nope, just keeps going, keeps going and going. And then the last thing I have is from Supergoop, and this is the CC Cream Daily Correction Broad 
Spectrum with SPF 40. It was okay. Um, I like, if I'm going to use a CC cream or a BB cream or AA cream or whatever, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics one because I like that the best. So that is it for my empties for the month of April. Yes, April. We're already into May. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.